Hello, my name is Nick Davis. I'm a realtor with Remax Premier Group, and I live and work here in the Tampa Bay area. Today, we're going to talk about the 10 commandments for you to follow when you're buying a home and not mess up your mortgage. I've said this before, the average American may own anywhere from one to three homes in their lifetime. So when you're going through the mortgage process, there are certain things that you should never do. And we're going to go over those right now. Number one, thou shalt not change jobs, become self-employed, or quit your job. In order to buy a home, you have to have income and you have to be employed. And switching jobs midstream of purchasing a home could significantly impact your ability to purchase your home. So stay put until after closing. Number two, thou shall not buy a car, a truck, or even a minivan. You do not want to be responsible for any more debt or payments while you're going through the mortgage process. And I would suggest that if you do purchase a new car, ensure that it's large enough so that you can live in it because you may have to. Just kidding. Number three, thou shalt not use credit cards excessively or let them fall behind. You got to make the payments on time. Do not overcharge your existing credit cards because when you get qualified, they are based on the current amounts. So adding more credit or falling behind could cause you not to be qualified to purchase your new home. Number four, thou shall not spend the money you set aside for closing. When your loan officer qualifies you, they went over the funds that you would need to close. If you spend them, you won't have them to close and you will not be able to close on the home. Number five, thou shall not omit debts or liabilities on your loan application. The lender is gonna pull your credit and if you left something off your loan application that is a monthly bill, it's gonna show up and it could hinder your ability to be qualified to purchase a home. Number six, thou shall not buy furniture and I'm talking about even putting it on layaway because when you go into the furniture store to purchase furniture whether it be on credit or layaway they're gonna run your credit that could ultimately influence your ability to close on your mortgage number seven this one kind of goes along with number six thou shall not have any new inquiries on your credit don't do anything just be steady, everything's gonna come, and after closing, you can do the things that you may wanna do during, but you gotta wait. Number eight, thou shall not make large deposits without checking with your loan officer. What I'm talking about here is you do not want to make any large deposits into your account that you cannot account for. Now, let's just say that a family or friend is going to give you a gift to assist with closing. You're going to have to have a letter which explains that. But any large deposits that cannot be documented could mess up your mortgage. Number nine, thou shall not change bank accounts. I don't think we need to elaborate any further on that one. It's pretty simple. Don't move your money. Number 10, thou shall not co-sign a loan for anyone. If you co-sign a loan for say a family member or a friend, well, that will show up on your credit report. And know this, that normally within a few days prior to you closing, your loan officer is gonna run your credit again. And if anything new pops up on it, it could affect your ability to purchase your new home. There you have it, the 10 commandments. Hope you found this information helpful. And if you're looking to buy a home here in the Tampa Bay area and need someone to look out for you and your best interest, give us a call, 813-300-7116. And do me a favor, go ahead and click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way, anytime we make a new video, you'll be notified immediately. Talk to you soon.